everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions, and I've got some exciting news. Earlier today we found out that something we've wanted for a long time is finally here, and that is Netflix enabling offline viewing of their content. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you real quick how to download content, how to find something that is downloadable, and then how to view it afterwards, because I figure you all have Netflix at this point in time, right? Really? You're the one person without Netflix. Come on, man. Spend a couple bucks every month. It's totally worth it. Get Netflix per month. Anyway, so we're going to go, and we are using my trusty Google Pixel XL on Verizon, although right now, as you can see, I'm actually on Wi-Fi. So we're going to go to Netflix, and no judging over my Netflix lists here and everything because I have multiple people who access my Netflix. Anyways, so let's try to find something that we can download. Um, let's see here. You know what? I have yet to see. I didn't know this wasn't even on here yet. Kung Fu Panda 3, one thing too, just as a note, everything that you see here, the copyrights and everything, are the copyrights of the respective copyright holders. So if you go into an item here on Netflix, you can see, and I'll highlight it here in post-production right there, the download button on the description. So all that you have to do is tap, actually what I'm going to do first, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit, and... You can see it's downloading there. And down below, it's cutting off because I'm down here because that's what I do. Um, you have downloading title and downloading Kung Fu Panda 3. It's fast. It's really fast. Now, granted, I've got my my Asus router is right there, so I'm not very far away from it. And I've got a 75 megabit uh, per second plan. So I've got a good internet connection. But I'm really impressed with uh, the couple of things that I have downloaded thus far how quickly they download. So while this is doing that, what I can do is I will go and show you how to access things that you've already downloaded. So I'm going to hit the three, if you didn't notice how I did that, hit the three bars in the upper left hand part of your screen, scroll down until actually you see it's right there in my downloads. And here you can see everything that you've downloaded thus far to be able to watch without a data connection. So I've got batteries not included. It's a cheesy 80s flick, like I say, don't judge. Uh, Elstree 17, I'm sorry, 1976, which is a really cool documentary on everything that went on behind the scenes for the production of episode four, A New Hope. You may have heard of it. Uh, I think they call it Star something or other. And then there you have Kung Fu Panda 3. So it, what's nice too is it also gives you the size of the files that you have too. Now one thing that I have not found on this, unlike Amazon Prime where you can designate where you want to have um, your downloads downloaded to, this doesn't give me an option as far as a folder or anything like that, where with Amazon Prime, you can actually say, hey, I want it to go to my SD card instead of my onboard storage. Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, Tab S2 8-inch that uh, I've tried it on. I've got a 64 gig SD card in that, and I haven't seen the option on there. So it looks like you can only download straight to the onboard memory. Very similar. Uh, I'm also a DirecTV customer, so any of you that have used the Genie Go app. It's the same basic premise. And uh, we're going to go and there's Kung Fu Panda. Everything is done. Uh, as you can see, download completed Kung Fu Panda 3. And hit play. Rotate it around. There's the 20th Century Fox logo. Looks good. Looks really good. So I'm going to back out of this. Again, I don't want to get dinged with any copyright issues here. And Lord knows I probably will, but uh, who knows? So that's it. Thank you, Netflix, for finally listening to your customers. And uh, there you can see one download complete. Um, not everything is available for download. Like one of the things I haven't checked yet, and I'll do it with everyone here, is episodic television. So I am a huge Star Trek nerd. And where is my list? Well, here, we can go to Firefly, because that's episodic, as long as it's not the movie. And here you can see there's no option to download. Uh, if I hit 
one episode. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't open any other uh, options to download single episodes. So it looks like that uh, may still be something in the works. Star Wars Clone Wars. Let's see that. Same thing. There is no option uh, to download. Um, so it looks like it is simply your movies and features, not uh, episodic TV. So let's see. Titanic. Titanic is not available. Um, so it is limited. Let's see. Forrest Gump. So it's not their entire catalog, and I'm sure that they will be adding to it. Uh, if you want to see items that are available to download and you don't want to go through everything, yes, no, yes, no, uh, you can go to my downloads. There it is. Click to find more download or more downloadable items. But there you go. Pretty simple, straightforward how you can download and save content for offline viewing with Netflix. Uh, if you did like what you see here, please go ahead, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it definitely helps the channel out. And for those looking to help out even further, we will be setting up a Patreon soon as well. So you can further help uh, us do things like get better lighting because my lighting definitely needs to get better in here. Um, and just do things to help the show out. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Rock Solid Productions.